key part of the Affordable Care Act may slowly be going away. Bronze plans, which tend to have the lowest premiums of all the tiers, also incur the biggest losses for insurers. So what's going to happen? Some of those insurers don't want to carry them anymore. And as Bertha Coombs reports, that could have broader implications for those who get their health insurance on the exchanges. Judging from initial 2017 rate requests, customers on Affordable Care Act health exchanges could be in for major sticker shock next fall and fewer lower cost options. Insurers are asking for sharp price increases after seeing big losses on exchanges the last two years. In Washington state, the average increase request is 13 and percent. In Oregon, the two biggest insurers want 30 percent increases. In New York, on average, it's 17 percent. And in Virginia, 23 percent. Leering analyst Ana Gupta says insurers are being more cautious for 2017 because some ACA reinsurance provisions to backstop losses will expire. The health risk on exchange has not been very good. There has been a lot of adverse selection. Some of the sickest members are buying insurance, if you will, on the way to the hospital and after paying premiums, only for one to three months, they then disenroll off of the exchanges, and that creates very heavy uh, pressure and losses. For many insurers, the biggest losses have come with the lowest cost bronze tier. A unit of Virginia's Care First Blue Cross said in its 2017 filing that it will stop selling bronze plans, which means that those customers would face a 70 percent increase next year because they'll have to shift to silver plans. The problem is that lower cost bronze plans tend to see more turnover, according to fund manager Les Funtlater. You have the unhealthy people signing up when they need something and then hopping off when they don't. And so what you have is um, a bad case of adverse selection, which means that you're only insuring basically the sick. But opting out of bronze plans also carries risks. Nonprofit co-op insurer New Mexico Health Connections is asking for a 30 percent increase overall, and its CEO told me they're considering opting out of bronze plans, but he worries that will only drive away more young, healthy enrollees. Insurers have until late summer to submit their final plan offerings, and one insurance regulator cautions there will be a lot more discussion with plans in the next few months. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bertha Coombs.